Hey you, how have you been? I welcome you to Glitch TechX today. Thank you for tuning in and without wasting any time on subscription rants, let's get cracking. In today's news video, RTX 3080 power limits and memory overclocked. AMD Ryzen 4000 Vermeer CPUs specifications detailed. Nvidia announces RTX 3070 availability. We get a close-up shot of EVGA's RTX 3070 XC3 and GeForce RTX 3060 Ti specifications leak out. Alrighty then, talking about our first news item, video cards has leaked the RTX 3080 power limits and memory overclock numbers. We'll talk about the power headroom first since that'll affect the amount of performance the card can deliver. The Founders Edition cards have the highest power draw of 370 watts, whereas the reference boards seem to have a power limit of 350 watts and some are even limited to 320 watts. So the Founders Edition has the highest power headroom and the best card to overclock for now. For an even higher performance, you'll need to wait for high-end designs like the Asus ROG series, MSI's Lightning, Kingpin from EVGA, etc. The benchmarks were run on a reference card or a non-Founders Edition model and was power limited to 320 watts and as per the data gathered, the performance degrades after hitting 20.5 gigabits per second memory speed. Video cards, however, has data showing 20.7 gigabits per second memory speeds, after which the card just wouldn't run. During the tests, the GPU was overclocked by 70 MHz and the memory was overclocked by 850 MHz. This resulted in an overall gain of around 2 to 3%, which is not huge, but shows that memory can be pushed this far on the RTX 3080. Now, I don't have an RTX 3080 of my own, no review kits for me. Anywho, let's move on as I try to hold back my tears. <sighs> Next up, confidential details about AMD's Ryzen 4000 Zen 3 CPU architecture have been leaked and were shared by CyberCat Punk. These documents provide some insights on the Zen 3 family of CPUs. For starters, the Vermeer desktop CPU family is known as the AMD family 19H model 21H. B0. According to AMD, the Vermeer desktop CPUs are designed for use in high-performance desktop platforms and will feature up to two CCDs, that is the core cache complex dies, and a single I.O. die. As I mentioned in my previous video, this was the hint in the Zen 3 teaser posted by AMD. A three-chiplet design for Zen 3 was featured. There are architectural differences between Zen 2 and Zen 3. Uh, first of all, unlike the previous gen design, where each CCD comprised of two CCXs or core complexes, the Zen 3 chips will consist of a single CCX per CCD. This will feature 8 cores that can run in single-threaded or two-threaded mode for up to 16 threads per CCX. Since the chip houses a max of two CCDs, the max core and thread count will max out at 16 cores and 32 threads. So, one CCD consists of one CCX, and each CCX consists of eight cores in either single-threaded or two-threaded SMT mode. Each core features 512 kilobytes of L2 cache for a total of four megabytes of L2 cache per CCD. This would equal to eight megabytes of L2 cache for a dual CCD CPU. Each CCD also comprises of up to 32 megabytes of shared L3 cache. For Zen 2, the L3 cache was split between the two CCXs, whereas for Zen 3, the size of the cache remains the same per CCD, but now all cores can share a larger number of L3 cache. In my opinion, this architecture is similar to, or rather building upon the Ryzen 3 3300X, where a single CCD had all the four cores compared to the Ryzen 3 3100, where the four cores were split between the two CCDs minimizing the inter-CCD communication using the Infinity fabric and hence squeezing better performance. Back to GPUs, Nvidia has pulled off a sneaky move on AMD. 
AMD announced that the RX 6000 series cards will be launched on the 28th of October. This was also covered in a previous video on the channel and Nvidia pulling off a sneaky has announced the RTX 3070 will be launched on the 15th of October, which is 13 days ahead of the RDNA 2 Big Navi RX 6000 launch. Okay, this GPU season is going to be a wild ride. Now that we're talking about the RTX 3070, EVGA has provided a much closer look at its next-gen GeForce RTX 3070 XC3 graphics card. EVGA made this reveal via a tweet and is one of the many custom designs for the RTX 3070 cards that will be available in October. EVGA's RTX 3070 XC3 has a 2.2 slot form factor and features a fully custom PCB design. The card has a triple fan design with minute EVGA logos etched on the fan blades and a large aluminum heatsink which has multiple copper heat pipes running through it. Moving on, Video Cards has leaked the specifications of the upcoming RTX 3060 Ti. Nvidia has officially announced just three cards for the RTX 30 series lineup. These are the RTX 3090, the 3080 and the RTX 3070. But reports are that there are several SKUs just waiting to be released and the RTX 3060 Ti is just one of them. The 3060 Ti is set to feature the GA104-200 GPU, which is a scaled-down variant of the GA104 GPU, which is featured on the RTX 3070. The card will feature 4864 CUDA cores with 8GB of GDDR6 memory clocked at 14 gigabits per second and a 256-bit memory bus with a max memory bandwidth of 448 gigabytes per second. The TDP will be in the range of around 180 to 200 watts. October is going to be a great month for PC builders and will witness a lot of new launches like the Zen 3 Ryzen 4000 Vermeer CPU lineup, the AMD RDNA 2 RX 6000 cards, Nvidia's RTX 3070 and now the RTX 3060 Ti. I would suggest to hold off on building a PC till October. Well this wraps up today's video. If you've watched the video till the end, thank you so much for your time. If you feel my content and channel is worth subscribing to, then please click the subscribe button and subscribe for more PC hardware tech and gaming videos.